going to show you what is gain chart for instance if you are doing PhD or master in foreign country or in your country you must need to have gain chart before starting your study so gain chart is very very important it's a layout of your study that for instance if you get a PhD admission in European country or uh, United States any place in Asian country so before uh, embarking before uh, starting your study you must need to have a gain chart many of the students that do not know what is gain chart basically it is a layout it is your plane that how you are gonna spend your all times uh, when you get admission in MPL master or uh, PhD so gain chart is basically here is a layout of your total time for instance you get a PhD admission and you have three times three years time or four years times so you need to properly divide that what you are going to do in first year second year and third year so for instance this is the gain chart sample here this is my gain chart so my PhD was basically uh, three years time I got scholarship for three years so I have to finish my PhD in three years times so I then further divide this uh, year in quarterly three three months quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four so similarly second year similarly third year so look now this is the serial number and these are my activities and this is my first year second year third year so during the first year time and initial the in the first quarter three to four months what I am doing to do proposal refining and concept clearance for instance I will do work on proposal during this time and I want to clear my concept for instance if I'm working on solar cell and I'll, I'm working on sensors or uh, protocatalysis or any kind of work so I need to concept my clearance uh, clear my concept uh, during that time when I am clearing my concept I have to do literature review because from here I will concept clear my concept from literature review literature survey uh, for example I am working on solar cell so I have to collect a lot of information about solar cell that is called literature review so that literature review is also continues from my first year and it is going towards second year you see it's not going to finish and simultaneously it is with the uh, proposal refining and uh, clearing concept and for instance during that time I'm also uh, starting work uh, on synthesizing SNO2 uh, material by electric spinning and hydrothermal method I think it should be like this a little bit because uh, I could not start directly from their synthesis because I did not know uh, the material I did not know what is electro spinning I don't know what is hydrothermal and I don't know how to synthesize so this gap here I will clear my concept here during this time the one three months after that I will start uh, synthesizing uh, uh, this material so you see this is my these are my milestones these yellow these are my milestones this means milestones this is here milestone after every bar I put milestone this milestone means that uh, I have to achieve this uh, thing at the end of this uh, bar this mean in first three quarter and for example uh, look in this bar this means that uh, for instance one two three four five almost in one year time I have to uh, synthesize this material so this is my milestone my target similarly after that I have to characterize one is the synthesis making something after that you have to check whether it is good or not whether it is the structure you want the, the shape you require it is there or not so you have to characterize here so I have to also start that characterization simultaneously because uh, in one week I have to prepare main material and I have to say characterize them and similarly I have to start fabrication device simultaneously you see so fabrication devices will be uh, going for a long time here you see because you are changing many parameters and here after some time I have to change my recipe and I am doing some doping so I have to start this from the uh, after some time after the six month time you see because this is the new material and similarly I have to characterize those material here 
and I have to match solar cell from those materials so these are here and here I am expecting that at this stage uh, uh, I will have publication for publication here you can see these are publication here I will have publications and uh, finally mm, I'm expecting that I will write thesis at the end of uh, second year uh, at the beginning of the beginning of the third year and from there I also expect some uh, uh, publications these are five publications now look here this green mean achieved when the, the, the time when I was presenting this during my proposal so this this mean I, I told clearly to the uh, panel that this is I already achieved here and the literature review was continuous and at, at that stage I also I uh, achieved this because in my university in Malaysia uh, the proposal defense was after one year I don't know why because in most of the cases they do very early but they done after one year so this one was also achieved during that time and this uh, blue in progress representing and this uh, red I told them that uh, this is on incompleted so this was the briefly discussion about the gain chart and your layout your plane uh, what are you going to do uh, during your uh, PhD or during your master uh, when you get admission that, that is for three years for four years uh, you have to uh, see the time and uh, make your activity according to that time. So I hope you learn um, the game chart and how it is useful and how to work on it. Thanks for watching.